Hello guys, how's it going? Welcome to this Ultra C video. And today here on my bench I've got my Axel SEX10 Deadbolt. And you can see I've done a lot to this track at the moment. And I just want to show you what I've done because it looks pretty cool at the moment. So um, yeah, let's crack into it. Okay, so I bought it about a year and a half ago. Actually, nearly two years now. And it came with this Deadbolt body, right? It was cool. I liked it and it has a GoPro mount. And um... Yeah, anyway, that was the original body, and I like, wanted to have something to do, so I made this, because I want sort of a truck body, and, um, so I made this thing, I um, made a video on it, how I built it, and I made a driving video, so you should check that out, I'll put the links there, that'll work, just there, right now, I don't know how long they'll go for, but they're there now, um, there we go, there's that body, you can check those videos out, they are very cool. But then I made an upgrade body, which was this. So it's made out of metal. And, um, yeah, so I'll bring it over so you can see, have a better look. So I put the light bar on it that came with the original shell. Um, the front lifts open like this, which is very cool. I put the battery in the front here, like literally the front. So the center of gravity is like here, which is super good for crawling. Um, yeah, this is just thin aluminium stuff. You can cut it with scissors, riveted it together. Um, I've put some interior in here. Then, yeah, I did the inside. I 3D printed a little lift kit under here, so, because the wheels were rubbing on the shell. Um, then I got these smokestacks. This is um, aluminium tube. Heated it up and bent it. Then I got this, drilled holes in it and made smoke, st well, stacks, not smoke. Then um, I got this, was it, 4 mil steel rod. And anyway, chopped that into sections, bent it, and um, welded it together up here. So that's cool. I've actually got another section of that down here. This bit here, which I was going to put on the front. But it's already looking very heavy, so I might just not do that for the moment. I'm still going to make a bumper for it and some other stuff. But anyway, let's just take it out and drive it. Because basically, there's not much more to say. It's really I just made this shell and it was fun. So yeah, watch the video now. Oh, right, sorry, I need to play it. Okay, cool, thanks, bye. <laughs> Maybe that was like a real crash. <laughs> 